Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. And welcome to the Good Karma Success Coach Podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet. And almost November. Welcome fall. Yeah, trick or treat. Trick or treat. It's finally getting a little cooler down here in the Keys, which is always super exciting. Yeah, <laughs> we have our first, uh, like our, I guess we'd call it our first cool down event that's going on right now. We have, um, we have a hefty southwest breeze. Tomorrow it clocks around to the north, and then yeah, it looks like a couple days of north wind. So it'll be, um, yeah, it's our first. Um, First frontal system of the year that's worth talking about. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do have a couple things worth talking about today. Yeah, we thought we would share some hindsights, some learnings and lessons that we have been dealing with, and if. A swear word comes out of my mouth. I'm just giving you a warning. So if you have children listening to this podcast, you might want to do a Vince Vaughn from old school and give them earmuffs or listen later (laughs) because we're just going to be authentic when we share these stories. They've been a huge eye-opening learning experience for us as business owners, as a couple, And again, I I think they should be shared. They're both in relation to, well, one's definitely in relation fully to Good Karma Sport Fishing and one is in relation to both of our businesses. So they've been something we've been, again, working with and have had a lot of struggle. And we've come to realize that in 2018, we should have trusted our intuition. Yes, big time. Uh, It just comes with, um, you know, being... You know, new to owning a business and trusting people, and so I've always I've always been a pretty trusting person, and so but <laughs> inside, so have I. I've just been that in nature. So I'll back up and share the stories. I'm going to start first with the sea keeper story. So, and this is in no regard anything about the sea keeper itself or Seakeeper as a parent company. So I just want to state that for the record. But this is a lesson in trusting your intuition. So Ryan had thought of the Seakeeper idea, which I think we shared on a podcast way back when, right? Yeah. Way back when Ryan shared, you know, how he thought of this idea. And then through Virgil, he ended up hearing about that actually something was being created. So it was kind of like this whole magical manifestation of how the sea keeper came about and Ryan ended up telling me about this product this item this piece of machinery and we and I was like okay this sounds very interesting so we ended up going to the Miami boat show February I think it was actually Valentine's Day I think it was our Valentine's Day date yeah of 2018 Mm -hmm. we're all excited we hadn't been to the Miami boat show since we first moved down here so it's been many many years yep and we was right, right after Irma right yeah, right after Irma. Yep. And so Ryan makes an appointment for, you know, first thing in the morning for us to get our sea trial and go on someone else's boat and try out the sea keeper. So we get there, we're all excited. We get to the tent and we're under their tent and we're waiting. And we'd gotten there early, number one. And number two, I think they were short a captain, like one of the captains was running late. So the whole sea trial thing was just a little delayed. And that's fine. That that happens, right? But we were standing under this tent for, gosh, probably like an hour, right? Yeah, a good it hour. Was a, it was a good amount of time. Good amount of time, yeah. And during that time, you know, you're standing there at a boat show. You're looking around, looking around, looking around. I noticed these two people standing on the dock. And they were standing apart from each other. I'd say like five feet apart. Like you wouldn't have known they were together. And it was a man and a woman. And that whole time, I'm just kind of darting my eyes over there to them. And I'm thinking to myself, gosh, those people just seem like in a bad mood. They seem unhappy to be here. I wonder what their deal is. I can't really tell if they're part of Sea Keeper or not, but they're just standing there and they look really kind of angry and bitter and they just didn't have a good vibe. And we ended up going on the sea trial And when we got back from the sea trial, we talk again to 
the guys from Sea Keeper and we're all excited and and we're like, "Oh yeah, we're definitely interested. You know, what's our next steps?" And yeah, Sea Keeper is a corporation that We're super nice. Super nice people. Amazing. 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 amazing like folks. I said, this has nothing to do with Sea Keeper. So the guys say to us, "Okay, well, your next steps is you would have to work with blankety blank because that's who covers the keys. I had this awful feeling of dread come over me. It knocked the wind out of my lungs. I just was like, (gasps) and sure enough, we turn around and it was those two people. And I was like, oh no, please. No. In my head, I'm like, oh, no, please. We can't work with them. Oh, my gosh. I just have this terrible feeling. But what did my humanness do? My humanness was like, oh, no, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Well, it wasn't fine. And I won't get into those details because it's really about trusting your intuition. But it became one challenge after another with working with these people. So what ended up happening was about a year later, Ryan says to me about the same thing. He goes, you know, I never had a good feeling about blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Just from the initial point of meeting (laughs) them. He noticed it too. It's like they really didn't want to even work with us. And I was like, okay. So. So you had a bad vibe about them too. Yeah. A bad vibe. A very bad vibe. Yeah. I should have trusted my gut. And we should have talked about it together. Yeah, but we didn't. But we didn't. No. So the hindsight in the learning here is if you have this feeling come over you where you can feel someone's energy and it's not good energy, and then especially if you have a business partner and especially if it's your spouse, have a conversation. Have a conversation. Right. In hindsight, I should have said something to him. Heck, we were standing there long enough. He could have easily also said something to me. We could have had a conversation and we could have said something to Seakeeper at that point in time and said, no, you know, is there someone else we could work with? And at least try to get it shifted to work with someone else. But we didn't know. No. We didn't have full trust of our intuition and we let our humanness like talk us out of it. And make us go, oh, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And it sure as hell was not fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, not a pleasant experience. It led for many tense moments for me and a lot of... Um, Put finger pointing from them. A lot of finger pointing. That was that, that, unnecessary. That was unnecessary, which, wrong. which puts me into a bad spot. Because we don't do that. Made me angry. So. Which is a sign from human design. So if you follow me, you know that I love human design. I infuse it in my coaching. It is just one of the best systems ever. And one of the not self themes of human design for the types that Ryan and I are is frustration. So yep. what does that mean? That means when you are frustrated by someone or something – If you don't address it, it bottles up and it can turn into anger and even more frustration. So your frustration is like a dinger, like ding, 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 ding. Like that something's wrong. Something's wrong that you need to address it. But unfortunately, sometimes in our society, we're told to take the high road, be the better person, not say anything, not do anything. But if you address things and have communication from the get-go, then it won't lead down a path of being super frustrated or even anger because you're addressing it along the way. You're addressing it along the way. And you're nipping it in the bud along the way. But that takes practice. That takes confidence building. That takes a lot of skill sets that are hard for a lot of people. But that's the journey is figuring that out and learning that and then mixing all of this together mixing together your intuition, your human design, and understanding the other person, and you know, just having the confidence to speak up and say something. Yep. And really say something. The second thing that happened to us in 2018 that just got completely wrapped up 
is we hired someone to help us with our um, websites. And my intuition was always like, oh, no, no. And we, Ryan and I, we have never, and this isn't even a disagreement. I'm not going to say it's a, it's a disagreement, but we've never had one of those things where Ryan's like, I just don't want to deal with it. And then we're just too busy. And this was just one of these things that we kept pushing under the rug, pushing under the rug pushing under the rug. We're too busy to deal with it. We're too busy to find someone else. What would happen? Would this become a big project? Would this get ugly? Like all those things that your human brain, again, pushes away the fact that you're constantly getting a frustration dinger that something's wrong. You're over. You're overpaying for something. This really isn't getting done. This right. person really isn't checking on things. This person really doesn't know what they're doing versus what is really going on out there in the world now. And when you ignore those things over time, it gets frustrating and it builds up because yep. you're ignoring your intuition. So I truly believe that <laughs> the universe stepped in. And ended up kind of ending it, which was fine, which was fine. And that was our whole like, oh my gosh, it's over. We should have paid attention to our intuition as business people, as a couple. And I'm sure Ryan can definitely relate following your intuition to fishing. Yeah. And I'm sure there's, you know, so here's what's happening right now. I'm sure a few people are like turning this off. So you're only here for the free shit. And you're and, missing the big picture. And you're life. missing the big picture. And then I don't want you listening. So I really don't. I only want people that listen to this that really want to get better. Now, getting better <laughs> doesn't mean booking a trip with me and taking pictures of all my shit and copying it either. Because that isn't going to build your, your fishing skills at all. Because I have to tell you what, it's all about your intuition, Okay. That is the secret, is building your intuition, okay? You can have all the fucking fancy lures. You can copy all my shit, okay? But you got to build your intuition. You have to. And that's what I try to teach people is that. There's a bigger picture, okay? A bigger picture. So if you don't understand that, you're going to have to if you want to get better. Because then the other guy is just going to continue going out there and kicking your ass because he's 10 times better because he has better intuition. He knows where to be, what time, when to make a shift, what to do. He's quick on the floor. He's fast. And he's fast in his brain. So that's what I want to teach is that. Okay? I can teach all the knots. I can teach all this stuff. But I have worked on my intuition more as a business person and as a fisherman, to get where I'm at today, okay? Not because I learned a secret, or not because of this. It's I took be- someone's spot. Or I took somebody's fishing spot. <laughs> oh, my God. I get all these idiots that come out there, and they're, like, mugging my spot. I'm like, oh, gosh, you know, I look at what they're doing, how they're drifting. It's like they're not going to catch shit because they don't have the intuition. They got six guys on the boat, and they're all dressed up the same with bibs and fancy boots. I was like, yeah, I don't have to worry about those guys. They're more interested in getting home for happy hour than they are, or putting the kites up and talking about their girlfriends and, and then putting up the GoPro videos. And they are about actually learning. So we have to remember guys is that a lot of these guys that are really good, they learn from somebody. Okay. They didn't just innately become good. So, and if they're only posting up dolphin pictures, they're not good. Okay? So, I'm just going to tell you guys that. There's a lot of guys out there with a lot of talent that are sharing stuff. And as they share things, they become better because they want to learn more. And they want to develop their intuition more. Okay? So... It's about having good people around you, and when you understand that, that's when you're going to take it to the next level. So yep. Yep. you made it this far in the podcast, good. Good. And if you're triggered to be activated to change, good. If you're like, hell yeah, thanks for speaking out. I'm with you. I hear you. I know I'm not alone now. 
We love both of you guys. And even if you're triggered and you had to turn this off, we love you too. It is just part of life. Doing the work, doing the internal work, making the changes, evolution and growth. That is what this is about. And that's what Ryan and I are about. So again, you can like copy. I've said this from day one because I've watched the copycats. If you don't think we see it, you're really, really clueless. And I'm like, they can copy all these things. But until you nail what's going on on the inside, and this is for everything. This isn't just fishing. This is for everything in your life, your relationship with your family, your job, your business, how you treat strangers. Like it is how it all works, but you have to do the internal work too. So yeah, it's big. It's big. And some of you may not like this podcast. And again, we're okay with that. We are totally fine. If you don't like this podcast, that's all right. But this is what needs to be said today. Right. And that's a, I think that with, for me, I really like to take people fishing. That's it. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. So um, I've just been seeing people that are coming and then they're, they're trying to copy everything. And it's just really like, I don't know. I well, it, it, what, what I mean, people don't realize, and this is what you and I talk about when you get home, is it also throws you off your game. Right. It throws me off my game. And it's like. Because he's got to focus. I got to focus. And do his job. And worry about safety. So, so you all step on the boat and you're like, oh, la, 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 la. let's just copy Ryan because we rented a boat down here and we're going to do this or that or we have a boat down here. And then you don't even understand like what all goes into it as far as right. like safety. And he's trying to like do his job and catch you fish. Yeah. So there's that's so the charters are not for that. Right. If courses you want to are for that. Courses are for that. And I have private consulting for that. So which is next level. Um, don't expect when you're coming on with me to go and try to pick my brain about stuff. Um, yeah, you're not going to get it. So my fishing charters are for fishing. I love having people that come fishing with me that just want to go fishing. But I'm also very in tune with people that are sneaky. So sneaky, sneaky. don't be sneaky, sneaky, because I've been, <laughs> I've been around the block a few times. I don't act like it because I don't want to. But I'm telling you what, don't fuck with me. So I am just that way. So you said the swear word. Yep. I uh, really don't give a shit. <laughs> That's hilarious, so, actually. <laughs> I have guys that want. I, I, I have guys that want to learn. They're paying me to consult. I do my best, but I have to teach you guys that the intuition is where it's at. And I, my intuition is so strong, I can smell a, like I can smell a rat on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> like, and you can smell a fish in the water. Yeah, I can smell somebody's got a bad vibe that tries putting p- other people off on the boat. And like, probably shouldn't have been on my charter. I'm like, yeah, you know, probably not the right fit. But um, I just love people that come fishing with me just to go fishing. And that's what it's about in the end. It's just being able to go fishing, have fun, being able to enjoy the time. If you want to take it to the next level, then I have the consulting part of my business. And I have the courses, Okay. So with that being said, I've been getting a lot of like people saying, hey, you know, I'm quitting my job. I'm moving to the Keys. I'm becoming a captain. Yeah, I'm, which is awesome. It's awesome. And it's awesome that we've inspired that been, so many that people. That have inspired so many people to become mates and captains. And I have a lot. Of, mm-hmm. And I don't talk about it, but I get uh, it's, it's a lot. I get direct messages all the time. And you've inspired me. And I was like, it's awesome, man. Good luck. Yeah. You know, so but what people don't realize mm-hmm. is how hard it is. It's hard. So we're not going into that in this podcast. I just wanted to state that for the record because Ryan has an announcement. Yeah. So guys, it's very major. It's a major announcement. And now I know a lot of guys want to move to the Keys or the or in your area. It could be North Carolina, it could be in the islands, and you want to start a charter boat fishing business. Okay. So. There's a lot that goes on with that. I'm not going to get into the details, but what I'm announcing is is that I'm going to I'm going to have a next level program. It's going to be a, a large program, okay? 
And it's what I'm doing is I'm starting a program to teach captains. Okay, now this is this is for the new captain or the guy that just wants to get his um, captain's license and get started, level up quickly, and get his business going quickly. <laughs> so, or someone who is still probably pretty new and has been struggling yeah. and wants to level up. And yeah, somebody that's really new and wants to level up. Now you could be a, like a mate for hire. I mean, you could be a captain that just wants to like really, you know. Get rolling. Yeah. Make it your full-time gig. Because it's not easy. We learned the hard way. It is not easy. There's no one to teach you this stuff. So unless so, you inherited something from your family, right. if you're self-made, there's no one to teach you this. Yeah. So If you think your captain's going to teach you, once he realizes you're going to be competition for him. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. So... Uh, I'm not going to discuss the details publicly uh, as it's not going to be for everybody. So if you are interested, you know, you need to contact me directly at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com and we can set up a time to talk. Now, this is a next level thing because it is about like building you into a captain as a business, okay, Uh, and doing it in a structured format. So, again, it's major. I have extremely limited spots. And I'm very excited to talk about it because I've been thinking about doing this because, man, it would have been cool if I would have had that myself. So we saved a lot of time. Time, money, money and, and heartache. Energy, heartache, stress, overwhelm, all the things. Oh, my God. And you would have learned how to develop your intuition sooner. And we wouldn't have probably had these two business mistakes that we talked about in the beginning of the podcast. Yep. So... But um, it's about time. So who's ready to do it? Yeah, who's ready? So if you're ready to... I'm excited for Ryan. Yeah, so he's a natural born teacher. And I think this is just next level evolution for him. And can really help some guys out there. Because it's not easy. Anyone that comes down here or starts a charter business anywhere and thinks it's a piece of cake. I. <laughs> if you're going to be very, very successful and be booked every day like Ryan is, it's not a piece of cake. No. So there's a lot more that goes into it. So just email you. Yeah. So give me an email. Goodcarmaryan at gmail.com. Do not Instagram direct message me. Yeah. So looking forward to seeing my clients that have been fishing with me for many years in November and December. Uh, Looking forward to the fall. That's really all I got. So yeah, that's it. It's a wrap. (laughs) And as always, we love to hear from you. You can follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. And my website is beyondbasicscoaching.com. If you're interested in one-on-one coaching where I infuse learning how to use your own intuition and human design and build your confidence in your life and your business and also create content to move your business forward, any of those things we work on what you are looking to build your confidence in, reach out to me and let's set up a call. And Ryan? follow you on instagram yep good karma sport fishing underscore fl underscore keys again i don't take my instagram too seriously and yeah i hope everyone's liking it it's kind of fun (laughs) anyway so thanks for listening